guys, VFX Bro here. Now we've all seen the movie The Dark Knight, and in that movie we see the character Two-Face, and the way that they got that effect was through the use of 3D object motion tracking, and today we're going to be going through a tutorial on how to do that effect. Now last week the uh, Final Cut King and I got the chance to visit, fly out to New York and shoot a lot of collab videos. The one we did though um, was the Nerf uh, office warfare video and in that video we did some motion tracking um, some object motion tracking so let's go and take a look at the shot here basically the cube is in the air and it falls down on rated RR Richard Ryan very nice guy and uh, it explodes so in order to do that we need to track the uh, box to his head to move as though it were actually on his head now if you don't have PF track you can get a free download the link will be in the description, but basically we go to the pixelfarm.co.uk, just fill out a little form and they'll send you a free trial. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, first I want to let you know that um, you may have seen this effect in the Black Eyed Peas latest video, Time of My Life. We can see that Will I Am has a nice box on his face and uh, they, they used geometry based motion tracking to uh, do that effect. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to open up PF Track, and um, the way we did the shot actually was we had a close-up of Rated RR. I'll just refer to him as Richard for the rest of the tutorial. Richard, we had a close-up of Richard, and um, we can scroll through it here. We can see that if you look close, we had some dots on his face to kind of help with the track. But the reason we used a green screen was so that we could get a lot closer to him and give us a, a better track of where. Um, the how the box would be moving on his face. So we have him moving around here, a nice close-up shot of him with the green screen in the background. And um, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, geometry-based object tracking. So we're going to start here when the box falls. So it falls right about there. So we're going to go ahead and set our, set our endpoint right there. And then let's scroll to where it stops. Right around there is when his head explodes, so we're going to set our out point right there. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to our camera, we're going to go to our camera parameters, and we're going to make this a stationary shot, because we're not doing any actual motion tracking for the camera, but just for the object. So since our camera is completely still, we can go ahead and set this to stationary. Let's close out of that here, and now we're going to go to tracking, and then we're going to go to groups. And so we're going to set that. Basically, what this does is tells PF Track how many different groups of things we're tracking. So normally, there we're only really tracking one thing, but there are there is a uh, sort of a solution for the camera and for the object that we're tracking. So we're going to set this to two motion groups. We have the scene solution, which is just a still camera, and then this guy right here. Let's go ahead and, and rename this. And we'll just call this Ryan. So we've got those two groups now. Let's go ahead and close out of this. And uh, here with Ryan selected, we're going to go to File, Import Tracking Geometry. And basically, um, we I just pulled this off the internet, but all you need is a uh, any any sort of uh, geometry, 3D, 3D object that will resemble the face. So we just imported that. We have here now the tracking geometry shape. And what we're going to do is line this up to his face. So we have right now uh, this face. We're going to kind of tilt it around um, and line it up there. So we're going to hit D or to move it up a little bit. And then we're going to hit S to make it smaller. So you're going to be holding down S while this happens. And then let's go ahead and we're going to click on our scene so that we can zoom in, zoom in here. And let's get nice and close there. And that looks pretty pretty good already, but we're going to make it a little bit more accurate. Let's go ahead and tilt around there. And right about there looks pretty solid. It doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty close. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our, we're going to go weights. So what weight says is chooses what part of the tracking geometry we want to put the emphasis and take the emphasis off when we're tracking the face. So we're going to hit the W button here. So we're going to make the eyes less weighted just because there's a chance that he might blink. So we're going to do that right there. We're going to undo the mouth as well. And then also we can see here that the face is, the, the, the shape that we have is a little bit too big. So we're going to undo that right there. 
And uh, now we're going to go ahead and get started. So all we have to do now is hit this button right here, Track Geometry Forward. So let's go ahead and hit Play. And uh, we can see that the face is tracking very nicely to Richard's face. And then we're going to go ahead and go back here. Now this track doesn't have to be perfect for the purposes of this effect because we're not adding, adding anything onto his face, rather we're putting a box over his face. So all we're matching really is the movement of his shoulders and neck because that's all we're going to really see. However, if you are doing a uh, an effect where you're trying to track something onto his face, then you're going to want to make it a little bit more accurate by possibly setting up some more dots on the face or um, just making sure that you have the geometry lined up perfectly. All right, so there we have the, uh, the face has been lined up and um, we have a fairly solid track here. Let's go ahead and zoom out and um, take a look at how, how it's scrolling through and that track looks pretty darn good. So what we're going to do here now is export this. So let's right click here over on our camera exports. We're going to go new and then we're going to send this out to any 3D program. I like to use Cinema 4D. Um, there actually is an export setting for Cinema 4D, so we're going to use Lightwave. So .lws here, and we're going to export the tracking geometry. Have that selected as yes, and then you can see here we have the camera export and the tracking geometry export. Um, so there we have it, and just hit OK, and uh, now we're ready to bring that into Cinema 4D. All right, so we're here in Cinema 4D. I'm just going to really quickly run over how we would import this. Um, we're going to select Open with our the file that we saved. And our scale, we're going to leave it at 1, that's fine. And uh, we have it here now. If we take a look here, we have actually exported the tracking geometry out to the shot. And you can see that when we started tracking it in the shot, it moves around just like he, his, his face did. And uh, what we're going to do, in order, the way that you're going to go about adding, um, for example, the box that we did in our case, is you select the cube. Uh, we're going to scale it so that it, it matches um, what we've got better. We're going to go to the top view here and we see where the face is. We're just going to move that down there and then move this up. And what we do here is let's scale this up a bit. Scale. Alright, so we're going to scale this up a bit and the way that we go about tracking the box to his face simply by going into our scene here with Ryan half face selected there we can take the cube and drag it underneath that so that it's parented to it and now if we play through this we can see that the box is perfectly matching the movement of his face so yeah that's the uh, so this is the effect on geometry based motion tracking feel free if you have any questions to comment below Love to get some feedback, and uh, if you guys get a chance to try this out on your own, run in some tests, or even make a short film, go ahead and post it as a video response, and uh, I'd love to talk about it in the next video.